and back again in my Minecraft survival world. This is part 8 of the series already and it's night. As you could see yesterday, I was blown up by a creeper and the day before yesterday the same happened to me and out there there are those critters waiting, creepers, zombies. I'm not really afraid of the zombies but I don't really have proper armor, so I don't want to risk to go out and to be blown up by a creeper again. Also, I'm not so crazy about the interior of my house so far. I like the part over here and the outside there. That is quite nice with my little pool that is over there or will be my pool but here the entrance and the staircase that is not so super fancy i think i will move the main entrance here to the middle like there and also the stairs will go up here and maybe i extend the house a bit in that direction and to spare you the details i will do a fast forward and i will do that now that little construction thingy So here we are back again and as you could see over there is a little monster party. Two creeper and a skeleton are celebrating most likely that they um, yeah, could not get me again. There's a spider. I could go and kill it. Could use the string but hmm, we'll see another day because the creepers I'm not crazy about to mess with them right now. Sorry creepies. Today is not the day of creeper party here for me. That is not what I would like to do. Absolutely. I built a little thing here, but I'm still not sure. I think I should put more stairs there. One more set of stairs, but I don't have stairs, so I need to go to my crafting table and create me another set of stairs and great it's raining as you can hear super so we put that there but not like that on a straight and because of the rain the little fella over there will not go away because he will not burn well, I don't think that is the luckiest game I've ever played here. But at least we have a shelter here, even when the rain is pouring in to our house. I mean, seriously, what not to spare. Maybe we equip the house up a little by building this around here. I want to make the roof a little more fancy, but I don't have any more material left. And as you can see, there are still the creepers over there. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. So probably I stop the construction of my house right now, let it drain in, and I go over to my shelter. I would need to move the stairs over here, but not today. Not now, not when it's raining, that is not so great. My plants are growing nicely. We'll go to harvest them later, not now. Because I don't want to stand here in the rain and do that. Sorry. Nope. But sorry. I gotta do a little bit of mining. Leave some materials here that I don't need. Dirt, or maybe some stones we can take with us. The egg. Is there something in the egg? 
Nope, mostly you do not get anything. Use the building materials here. We'll grab them later when I go back to the house and the construction of the house. That we don't need, but we keep it. Just in case. And now there is even thunder. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Some more torches, maybe. What is going on here? Some more torches. Yep, some sticks I keep, that I keep. And maybe, just in case, a bit of wood we take with us. We never know what is happening. And I go down here. Um, where did I run into the critter? I think it was here. Yes, and as you can see on the minimap over there somewhere, there is an abandoned mine shaft. So I'm going to dig around here maybe. And I'm not sure on what level that will be. Go a little down here. Maybe some torches might be a good idea to have them here. Yeah, I'm going to dig. And we are now kind of on the level of the mine shaft. But where is it? Up, down? I don't know. Let's just dig here a little and see if we can see where it is. Not sure if yeah more thunder, not sure if I should enter the mine shaft today or not because I still do not have really good armor with me which might be an issue if you run into some fight with some mobs around here. We don't want to risk a fight without proper weapons and proper protection. So we just dig here a little bit. Might be close to the mine shaft or not. Maybe it's above us, maybe it's somewhere down there. The thunder is still going on, which always means a skeleton party somewhere because they do not burn in the daylight when it's raining, as you know. I don't really hit the mineshaft. And as I said, I'm not sure if it is a good idea to enter the mineshaft right now, but here's some coal. We have plenty of coal now. In this world, coal is not really a problem. Rather iron, not to talk. Ah, and there is some iron. Isn't that ironic? I just talked about iron, and there it is. But sure, just one block of iron. Iron is not really a thing that you find a lot around here. No more iron here. No, no iron. No more iron here. No, certainly not. Too bad. Just one block of iron. Just one lousy block. Which is totally not satisfying for my iron needs. Here is some third level. Place a torch here. And dig a little further. Somewhere above or underneath me is the abandoned mine shaft. But I have no idea where it might be. Huh. You just dig further. And I still hear the thunder even when I'm probably quite deep underneath somewhere. And here is wood, which indicates that we are above the mineshaft. There it is. 
Yep. Place a torch there. And in this minimap we can see we are not really surrounded by a lot of critters. Still not sure if we go there or if we wait until we have proper weaponry with us and some more other things. So maybe we just dig around here on that level without really going deeper. Maybe there is something to find. Another torch here. The sad thing is that we are nearly done with our iron pickaxe and we just found one lousy iron which is not enough, totally not enough for us to go on and build more tools. Iron is really the problem here. Yeah? Now it's gone. But now we know where the mine shift is. As soon as we have better protection and better weapons, we can go in there. I just close the gaps here. First of all, I get rid of some materials. Secondly, it makes it harder for some critters to spawn here. You know, those tall guys, the Endermen, they cannot spawn when it's just two blocks high, so you're always safe when you stand somewhere where there is just two blocks height in the room. And I built quite a labyrinth here, back to the surface, but we have now some things to do. We need to explore the abandoned mine shaft, and we see it is night out there again, and it's still raining. My house is over there, nicely lit, and in half finished condition, not bad for one day. So we found the mine shaft, we built, or we further constructed a little bit of the house, and I think for today that might be enough. So see you in the next episode. It was part eight. See you in part nine. Bye bye.